Ms. Dandridge, are you ready to roll? Are you hitting record? Cool beans. Hey, good morning, Cresswell Bulldogs. We, it's just, is it still sunny outside? I had to close my blinds because it was blinding me earlier. We're glad to have you this morning. We are getting close to the end of the first semester. It seems crazy, um, but February 4th is it. So we just wanted to review a few things and remind you to finish strong. You still have time to, to keep working on those grades and attending class and making sure that you end uh, semester one strong. Uh, so Ms. Stifler, would you like to say anything in regards to um, second semester and forecasting for next year? Oh, I would love to. Um, so no, just a reminder that there are no schedule changes for core classes. So like you want to be in second period chemistry with your bestie, that's not going to happen. So keep that in mind. Um, elective courses are all mostly full. Um, there's a few options. Um, please contact me um, if you're in a class that you've already taken before. <clears throat> so if you if you know that, oh, I've already taken this class, please contact me or you're in a class that let's say you're in Woods 2, but you haven't taken Woods 1, um, please make sure you reach out to me so that we can get that taken care of. Um, also, make sure you're looking and checking your class of Google Classrooms in the next couple weeks um, because we will be putting out forecasting stuff for next year. Um, so if you don't want me to pick your classes for you, um, then it's important that you watch for that and you complete it on time. And we're hopefully going to, once you get that, be able to get you on campus to get that stuff entered into the computer. But more info for that coming later. Um, if you need to make an appointment via Zoom to chat with me, I put my link there. I'll also put it in the chat for you before this meeting's over. Um, if you have a quick question, email's great. I should be able to get right back to you. Otherwise, um, set up a Zoom appointment with the link above. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Stifler. Athletics. I just want to give you guys an update. We are starting workouts or have started workouts. So if you are interested and haven't been out there, uh, let us know, let a teacher know, and we can get you signed up um, online. We are doing fall workouts on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, spring on Tuesdays, and winters on Thursdays. Um, as of right now, scheduled start to start football practice February 8th, and then all other fall sports will start practice on February 22nd. So getting close to starting fall. Um, so like I said, if you haven't been got out there and got a chance to be a part of that, let us know and, and get out to workouts and, and get outside and, and have some fun. Awesome. Ms. Noggle, do you want to take this slide? Um, yeah, good morning, you guys. Um, just wanted to, um, I think the, the main piece of information that I want folks to be aware of and students to be aware of is that we are able now to have um, appointments on campus, um, including Angela and myself, our uh, College and Career Center Coordinator. Um, so please reach out to us. Um, we are, um, you know, like I said, we're able to be here and have you guys on campus, which would be fantastic to see more of you guys in the next uh, coming weeks. Uh, we still are um, available to get you connected with South, South Lane uh, Mental Health. And so as we get, um, you know, move forward, we're still going to, you know, give you guys reminders about taking care of yourself and the resources that we have um, through the high school homepage and um, the mental health and self-care resources that we've been putting in the grade level Google Classrooms. Um, but that ongoing um, counseling support with um, you know, a specific designated counselor through South Lane Mental Health um, is also still available as well. Um, we have a couple of events that we're, are gonna be coming up uh, in regards to um, some specific things that you can see there. Um, so seniors, uh, Angela and I are going to put together a um, information and support session to help you guys with the LCC Foundation scholarship application um, and the Oregon uh, student access application. 
Um, so look again in the Google Classroom is where we're going to be announcing that. So look for information on that. Um, and then juniors and your parents, we're going to hold an evening information session um, that'll coincide with the forecasting piece that uh, Ms. Stifler was mentioning. Um, so uh, look again for those upcoming events and resources and please, please, please take advantage of them and um, reach out to us as far as setting up times to come in and meet for other, other needed items. Thank you, Ms. Noggle. All right, so some second semester reminders and updates. We're gonna cover the new comprehensive distance learning schedule that will start for second term. We're gonna look at the uh, continuation of the four by four schedule and what that means for second term. Talk about online learning, Zoom protocols, attendance, getting you guys back on campus for some activities and instructional support, and then safety protocols for doing that. So um, first, please remember, and we'll make sure that we that this is posted, that second term, your classes are shifting to the morning. So first period is going to run from 9 to 9.45, second period from 9.55 to 10.40. Your lunch will be a little shorter um, than it has been in there, that, that time in between, 10.40 to 11.30. Um, and then third period and fourth period will run between 11.30 and 1.10. So at that point, we have the opportunity to um, get you guys here on campus uh, for some instructional opportunities in the afternoon between 1.45 and 3.45. Um, so we are really excited to get that going. Um, Wednesdays will still be applied and asynchronous learning opportunities for students. Um, and we will remain in the four by four schedule. That's not changing. You're still gonna have your four classes. So Brandon, next, Mr. Standridge, next slide, please. So four by four schedule. Uh, Semester two is gonna run from February 8th through June 17th. All core classes are still one credit. Electives, you get 0.5 with the exception of anatomy and physiology. That is gonna be a one credit class. And then at midterm, so uh, the, the third quarter runs from February 8th to April 15th and you will do health two and then you're either in economics or government. And then on the 19th, Health 2 will switch to PE and Government and Economics will do flip-flop. So um, still four by four schedule. And then remember for online learning, it's important that you're logging into your class every period that you turn your cameras on and engage with your classmates and your teacher. Um, that you're checking in on all of your learning platforms, Google Classroom, Acellus, and that you're completing your assigned work. Make sure you're taking notes during class so you have that to study from. And, um, and again, these grades do go on your, your transcript and move you towards graduation. So make sure that you are working hard in all of your classes, um, checking in with your teachers and, and checking the website for updates. Thank you, Mr. Standridge. And then prior to being admitted to your Zoom meeting, um, would you hit enter again one more time for me? I'm missing two pieces of that. Oh, there it is, thank you. Um, prior to being admitted to your Zoom classroom session, teachers will be identifying students by name and face. This is really important um, so that we can maintain your safety in a Zoom session. So students, you should be making sure that your first name and your last name is listed so that we can identify you. You can quickly show your face on the screen so that we know who you are. And then if your connectivity is poor for whatever reason, um, you can then shut it off. But we do need to be able to verify you by first name and last, as well as your face. So make sure that you are set up to do that during second semester of Zoom. All right, attendance. Attendance is the same. It matters. You need to be in class in order to get the instruction, to get the information. You need to be successful. So please be sure that you are in attendance in all of your Zoom classes um, and, and getting your work 
accomplished through Google Classroom, whatever you need to do in Acellus um, and interacting with students and staff as you're on camera in classes. Was it? Oh. And then the other thing that I'll just say, um, oh, wait, we're back. Just a small technical glitch. It's all right, we've got this under control. So the next slide, I think, if I'm remembering right, um, is that we, yep, there it is, limited in-person instructional support and activities. We are so excited that we get the opportunity to start to bring you back onto campus. And we have begun to establish a schedule for second term. Um, to make that happen. And one of the first things that we're working on is a freshman orientation. The dates are still to be announced, but coming up, um, other things, we're hoping to get club activities back on um, and, and clubs being able to meet. Uh, and then we're gonna work on a forecasting schedule for next year to get you on campus to, um, to look at your classes. So as Ms. Stifler said, that information is gonna be thrown out in your Google Classrooms. So um, make sure that you're checking those, but we're excited to have you on campus. But that means, next slide please, Mr. Standridge, that we have to follow some safety protocols in having you do that. So you will be required to wear a mask when you come on campus. Um, we will be just doing a quick visual screening to make sure that there's no signs or symptoms of COVID. We do take your temperature when you come onto the building and we will be noting who comes in uh, either by having you sign in on a contract, excuse me, contact tracing sheet, or we will check your name off of a cohort tracking sheet if you're coming in as a group or for a class. Um, all students and staff have to require or have to follow that six foot social distancing protocol. So stay six feet apart um, as much as you can. And then um, we're making sure that if students, staff, visitors have any signs or symptoms of COVID or COVID related um, symptoms that you're staying home and return to school um, when you've met those safety guidelines. So. We want to get you back on campus, but it's really important that we follow all of these safety protocols so that we can stay open and and um, and have you here. So, yay, school. We're kind of getting back to normal. That's all I have, Mr. Standridge. And I think now we are, are we moving on to our slideshow for our students of the month or is there anybody else who had something they wanted to announce? Um, yeah, as we transition to the student of the month, I wanna recognize Mr. Nias' oh. second period shop class because they had perfect attendance last week, all week long. Good job. Uh, it, it was actually my career exploration class. Oh, career exploration. Sorry, Ms. So, nice work, freshmen. Nice job. As we get students of the month going, congratulations to all of our past students of the month. And don't forget to stop by Hot Shots to get your drink. This year, Chronicle winner. I'm not looking back to who I was because I'm gonna be someone I've never been. This year, I'm not focused on the cracks in the wall. Keeping track of all the time this year. From my end, I wasn't seeing the whole thing. I'm not sure if everybody else was. Sure. Maybe it shared well with everybody else and just not me. Getting a no. All right, we're gonna start it over. This year, I'm not looking back to who I was because I'm gonna be someone I've never been. This year, I'm not focused on the cracks in the walls, not keeping 
track of all the times I fall this year. putting that together. That was awesome. Congratulations, students, for your hard work this semester. Second semester is going to be even better. I can't wait. Go Bulldogs! <laughs>